Christmas. Reverend Janae here from St. Michael's Episcopal Church, and I'm so glad that each and every one of you have joined us for our online Christmas pageant. Every year, the Christmas pageant is a very special event at St. Michael's, and this year, it's just as special, even though it's a little bit different. So I'm so glad that you could join with us as we watch our children and adults join together to celebrate the birth of Jesus from the safety of their own homes and in their own families. Let us pray. Lord God, we thank you for the birth of your son, Jesus. And we pray that you help Jesus be born in our hearts each and every day as we celebrate the miracle of his birth and the salvation it brings to the whole world. In Jesus' name, amen. Enjoy. Merry Christmas. And they all lived happily ever after. Good night, Leo. Good night, Owen. I'm scared, Mom. Oh, what are you scared of? Spiders. Ghosts. Ghosts and spiders. Oh, I get it. I, I know. I can relate. I get afraid too sometimes. So what do I do? Well, stories help. When I'm afraid or worried, I remember that I am a part of a story that is way bigger than myself. And God's story is full of people who are sometimes afraid. You know, I think I have some time to tell you one more story tonight. This is part of God's story during a time when many people were afraid of many things. It all began in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, with a woman named Mary. Hello? Uh, welcome. Do you want to talk to me? Haven't we met before? Have we? And how did you get my Zoom personal meeting room and link and press record? Uh, don't worry about it. No, we have not met. Pardon me. This was a rather poor way to start our relationship. Let's start over. Greetings, favorite one. God is with you. Um, what kind of an entrance is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you're going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great. And will be called the Son of the Most High, and his kingdom will have no end. You're kidding, right? I'm hoping the connection is broken up and I'm just... Miss hearing you? Because how can this be? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. In a similar way, your relative, Elizabeth, is going to have a baby, even though people thought it was impossible. Two, now, Everyone will know nothing is impossible with God. So, do I have a choice in the matter? Oh, um... Well, okay then. As a servant of the Lord, let it be with this according to this message. Wow, that was a lot. I need to call Joseph. Mary is going to have a baby? Huh, this is not good. Not good at all. And she said it's God's kid! I am so not ready for this. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. Oh, Mary. Don't be afraid. God will be with you. Joseph, you will have a baby. My baby name is Jesus. Huh? Mary wasn't kidding. Oh, I gotta go back. So I skip very bit. Hold on, I have some questions. 
questions. Why are you making a big deal? It's just a baby. Do angels still visit people? And why is Joseph packing? Those are all great questions, which are hard to fully answer. We have to remember that this is a bigger than life kind of story, and there are a lot of unexplainable and miraculous parts. Like what Reverend Janae says? Mm -hmm. I'm glad I sound like Reverend Janae, because we don't have all the answers. Now, I do know the answer to one of those questions. Why is Joseph packing? To understand that, we need to meet the emperor. Citizens of Rome, Desire, Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Lightweight, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and amazing as me. My emperor is so vast, and people are obedient, and you owe me so, so much. Citizens, I want to see how many of you there are that owe so much to me. I want to get a good head count, so go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know and learn my magnificent ways. Farewell. a place to stay. Finally, this baby isn't going to wait much longer. Where are we staying? Oh, did you get the room room at the nice inn I like with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. That one was full. Oh no, what are we going to do? Sleep outside with shepherds? Stay in a stable with donkeys? Yeah, yeah. Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know. The inn is full, but the owner will, will let us stay in a small place in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space with lots of hay. And maybe a few apples. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Is that it? That's a boring ending. No, no, there's still a bit more to go. Okay, keep on going. Okay. There were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby, watching over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God, but they would soon realize they did not have to be afraid. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh huh. Uh huh. Glory to God. Is this thing even working? Am I on you? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. Bring you good news that will cause great joy to all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and lying in the manger. That is all. Goodbye. You guys saw that, right? Um, yes. Yes, I did. Bye. 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 Well, we are.
are going, right? Yes, we are going. Do we bring the sheep? I think we have to. What were those signs again? <laughs> a baby wrapped in strips of cloth lying in a manger. All right, sheep, come on, let's go. That was a miracle, friends. We have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. It was definitely special. The baby's mother, Mary, acted like this was exactly what was supposed to happen. Like this was meant for people like us. Maybe this baby will lift up the lowly. And bring down the lofty. Wouldn't that be something? It sure would. We will see. Was that star there last night? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Hello, and welcome to our observatory. This is where the wise people work and spend their time. Wise people. The magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers. We study the stars. We study the stars so well that when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star. We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there is a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Yes, yes. It looks like we are here. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say King Herod? That would be me. I'm like the big cheese around here. Everybody is talking about it. They all say that I am a powerful king, the best king that has ever been seen. Yes, yes, we got it. Best king ever. So we are here to look for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star at the rising. And we have come here to honor him. Um, would you excuse me for a moment? I need to take a call. Hey, put me through to my smart people. This is your king, the, the very best king. I need to know, according to your research, where is the Messiah supposed to be born? Uh-huh, 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 Bethlehem, are you sure? Okay, thanks, bye. So here's the deal. Go on and find this child and pay him honor and get back to me about this so that I too can honor him. Sure thing. Yeah, we can do that. Time to go. When we left Herod, he decided to sit around and be jealous and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened that there was a new leader that people were excited about. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold. Frankincense. And myrrh. Usually these gifts are for royalty. Powerful people. Grown men. But we brought these gifts to a tiny child. Even though we didn't know what was exactly going on, we knew that he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to the wicked King Herod. Nope. No way. We were warned in a dream to take a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. These wise people were very brave. They were indeed. They honored God's child, brought him presents, disobeyed the orders of King Herod, and made it home safely. But they weren't the only ones that were brave. Can you think of anyone else? Mary, Joseph, and the shepherds. That's right. They recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. So, are you guys feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story's coming to an end. No, it's not the end yet. Jesus just got born. That doesn't mean it's the end. Jesus, because
because you usually get bored and it doesn't mean it's the end. Mm -hmm. You have to grow up and make a miracle. You're right, Leo. You're right. Jesus' birth is just the beginning, but it's late. Tonight, let's focus on this one special moment. This one night that brought us Jesus. That was a great story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way, but we can trust that God's love will have the final word. Good night. Good night.